Hello everyone, welcome to the Jarkus Ranger Review. This time we are looking at the 18th episode of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, Rewriting History. And oh boy, this is quite a packed episode. For one, Varg Oriole's plan to use the Memory Pulse Stator is finally thrown in action, and we get to see what the Memory Pulse Stator is. It sends waves into the people of Coral Harbor that freezes them for a moment, and then completely replaces their memories. They forget all about Evox, and all about the Rangers. They believe that Blaze and Roxy are heroes alongside Ravi. Everyone against Steel, because he's not fully robot and not fully human either. And at the time, he's with Devin looking for a plant, because Nate says if he can take care of a plant for a week, he would let him have a pet. So Devin flips out because he has no idea who Steel is. He's just seeing as some sort of weird robot guy. Even Nate and Zoe completely forget that they knew each other and go about their lives as of before episode 1 happened. So Steel convinces Devin to come to Grid Battle Force so he can get access to the same reason he was excited to go in the first time. To take a look at their battle simulator. See it all comes full circle. But it gets stopped outside by security. And by security I mean Ben and Betty who actually look like security as well. And they try to apprehend them for stealing because they see the risk comms, which are only supposed to be used by good battle force personnel. But still being a robot, pulls his hand off and it messes with them. But not before Devin gives his up willingly, and Steel loses his in the confrontation. No the two hide. And when trying to figure out what to do, Vargorio shows up and he attacks the two rangers. Well, not full rangers now. And in the midst of his boasting, he reveals that the memory pulsator is on top of the TV tower. Way to go. You couldn't resist spilling the beans. And Devin eventually does get involved with the fight. He grabs a steel pipe and hits Vargoyle, but it doesn't really hurt him much. And Vargoyle destroys the plant, decides it's not worth it, because he's still mocking Steel for being all human-like. Of course, Devin does save the pop by using his cheetah speed to catch it. And Vargoyle tosses Steel in a dumpster, because he's done with him. He doesn't even think he's worth his time to finish off. And now Steel is really down on himself because he failed his trial at being good a pet owner. Yeah, you know, because the plant was kind of burned up, as well as not having the power to fight the enemy. But Devin says one thing he knows about Power Rangers is that they never give up. And by using that power, he's convinced that he really is the Red Ranger. So using his super speed, he goes to Ben and Betty and just takes the risk cons back and gives them back the steel without ever being seen. The two of them decide to go to the TV tower to take care of things. However, there's a force field protecting it. And to climb up it, it's also electrified, which Devin can't climb up, but Steel decides to even though it's damaging him. Devin runs inside, tries to get the building evacuated, and heads towards the bottom to shut off the electricity. Except he is stopped by Vargorio, and they start having a 1-1 battle, and Devin gets to morph this time, all by himself. And the two of them are evenly matched, and Vargorio only has enough more effects for his cheetah speed, because Blaze and Roxy stop Scrozzle from giving him any more, because they just don't like the guy. <laughs> and it is a really cool looking fight too. They're trying all different moves to try and hit each other, also trading. Eventually, Devin tosses his... Beast X blaster up in the air. Or is it the cannon? I think it's the cannon. So after putting some distance, he grabs it and just blasts a hole through Vargoyle and destroys him. There is no coming back for him. And so he returns to the roof just as Steel has finished destroying the memory pulsator, only to fall right to the ground. He is incredibly damaged, to the point where he actually shuts off. But with it destroyed, everyone's memories are turned back to normal. Unfortunately, Blaze and Roxy had been inside Grid Battle Force this whole time. They stuck some sort of virus into the real Roxy's stasis pod that's keeping her alive, putting some sort of virus, probably an Evox one, into it. Though it hasn't done anything yet, and the Devious Duo also convinced the other Rangers to help them get some Mega Transporters. What they need it for? They didn't really say, they just needed to test something. The others get their memories back at just the last moment before they teleport out. So they know they helped them do something, but they're not sure why they did it. That is until Devin arrives with the busted up steel to Nate Slab who has to help heal him out. Just in time for Giga Drone to attack. And it's only loosely based on Vargorio. It doesn't look a whole lot like him. But the Rangers form the Megazord and they dispatch it quite easily. Now we have two scenes in the aftermath here. First, Steel does adopt a dog. And then he sees a kid that runs up and really likes it and wants to play with it. And then Steel gets us thinking that he's very busy as a Ranger. And whatever else he has to do being a robot learning to be human at Grid Battle Force. So he might not have enough time to give the little pup the time and attention it needs. So he offers it to the little girl and her mother. That's a nice sweet scene. Still really is a good guy. <laughs> 
And lastly, we end off back in the cyber dimension where Evox asked if the phase 3 is ready. And they said, yes it is. And now we see the lights change on the status of Roxy's stasis pod. So what's going to happen to her? We don't know. It's to be continued. And that's the episode. There wasn't really any sort of character growth in this, but the action and drama was really up there. I mean, every scene with Vargaro fights has been really excellently done from start to finish. I am kind of disappointed with how much Vargar was built up, and how powerful he seemed, he didn't quite do much after his first introduction. First he showed that he was strong and intelligent, and didn't stay around to fight because he got what he wanted, and then we showed how powered up he is from the data chips. But again, he didn't stick around because he had a bigger plan in place, and when he really had his moment, he just had a one-on-one -on -one fight with the Red Ranger, which was really good, but it didn't show how crazy powerful he was compared to the first episode, where he was able to take out pretty much the whole team. It's a minor nitpick, but they could have had Vargor be a little more intimidating. But it was still really good at fight scenes though. That does not take away from that. It's just that the overarching narrative kind of had a small payoff. When really the only thing pushing forward to the next episode had absolutely nothing to do with him. <laughs> it was nice to see that he lost because he got sabotaged through Blazing Moxie. <laughs> So yeah, something big is going to happen next episode, and I really want to see it. Though Steel had a nice bit of character development, where he realizes just what sort of person he is, and the way he lives, and that it won't always help another living thing. And that he has the maturity to let that go and to uh, improve someone else's life before he messes up another one. Even though it just is a dog and a little girl, it's still. So there's a lot of maturity and responsibility and kind-heartedness. All around, he's a good guy robot ranger. <laughs> Definitely a lot better to be around in Robo Knight, that's for sure. But yeah, there was a lot that happened this episode, but it was pretty much straightforward and to the point, but all of it was really enjoyable. And it's probably the most complicated scheme we've seen these villains do so far. So that's all for this time. This has been Jargus, thanks for watching, and next time we'll see how far this plan goes. Until then, let the power protect you.